CBS, the bold and the beautiful, revealed that Taylor hasn't given up hope of kicking Sheila out of town. Sheila's a threat to everyone in Los Angeles, not just Steffi's family. As long as Sheila's here for a day, people will never have a peaceful life. Taylor knows Sheila and Deacon have a close relationship. Perhaps the only person who could talk to Sheila was Deacon. Taylor wants to ask Deacon to advise Sheila to get out of Los Angeles as soon as possible, because Taylor thinks that if Deacon were the one to talk to Sheila, she would definitely respect Deacon's advice. Taylor, of course, did not know that Deacon was the one who had been hiding Sheila all this time. Deacon has harbored Sheila, so now will he volunteer to advise Sheila or leave not? It's possible that Deacon doesn't want Sheila to leave either because he still has feelings for her. Meanwhile, Brooke and Eric have not had a close conversation with each other for a long time. They laughed and talked happily as they talked about the past when they were together. It was a happy time that even now that Brooke had broken up with Eric, it was hard to forget. Eric was also nostalgic about that joyful time. Involuntarily, their conversation became more and more exciting. Donna was the one who stood outside and witnessed the entire conversation between the two. Donna and Brooke are close sisters, but that didn't put Donna at ease either, because Donna knew Brooke had a history of stealing other people's husbands. Even as sisters, Donna is still very worried. She's afraid that Brooke and Eric will get back together. A while before that, her relationship with Eric was still very good. Will Brooke and Donna's relationship be affected by Eric? What will Donna do to keep Eric from becoming closer to Brooke?